dangerous team with nothing to lose. The only way they can make the NCAA tournament is if they win this Big 12 tournament. Third quarterfinal matchup. We are underway. Oklahoma in the white tops. TCU in their black once again. Quick shot for Williams to begin is off. The rebound to Emily Fisher. I have a feeling you're going to be saying quick shot quite a bit today. Oklahoma definitely not shy to shoot the basketball. One of the fastest teams in the country, 99th in pace. Fisher has the ball and recollects. Manamela Una was big last night as well. TCU got contributions from everyone up and down the roster. They came out great energy in that victory. Deep shot is good, and that's what they did as well. Made the three. Yeah, right there, Manamela Una kisses her lips and puts three to the, the ceiling. Starting five for Oklahoma. Tanya Nusa Williams, Robertson, and Liz Scott for a team two seed in the tournament by virtue of the tiebreak with Texas. Texas won the regular season. So Oklahoma goes 24 and 5, 14 and 4 in conference play. Come in having won two in a row. Robertson from the corner. Absolutely. That's what Taylor Robertson does. That's way too easy to get her that much through. I just have to add, with Oklahoma, the only team in the nation to start the same starting lineup all year. Unia, Tyrell, Bradley, Fisher, Cravens, the 5-4 TCU. Quick back the other way. Anusa lost the handle. Oklahoma playing man-to-man, -man. TCU in his zone at the other end. Is it Cravens who will kick out? Deep three, Taiwo, good, great start from deep for TCU. I'll tell you what, when TCU shoots the ball well, they're very dangerous. Robertson trying to throw the entry pass. It was Williams on the seal. Oklahoma led by Jenny Baranchek in her second year. She on the right and Reagan Peebley on the left. Turn her ninth. Peebley, the story announced February 27th. She'd be stepping down at said TCU has her heart but thought it was time for a change but her team has definitely done something to give her a good send up we don't know when that will be Tyro with the main three on an early here lead here for TCU shooting the ball extremely well Jenny Baranchek, you know, just talking about her, what a terrific job she did. She's only in her second year uh, at Oklahoma. Her first year takes her team to the NCAA tournament. They lose to Notre Dame. Uh, get, you know, they had a terrific experience there, learned some things, want to get back there and make a deeper run. It was a 13-win improvement. Second largest in OU history. She was a Naismith Coach of the Year finalist. First free throw is good. And Van in for Maddie Williams. How much she's available for Oklahoma. Shot clock under 10. Fisher steps through on top. Craven's fighting, but five foot three in the van top. <laughs> small rebound. Yeah, smallest player on the floor just goes up and get it. That's all hard positioning. Good swing pass. Robertson from the corner makes her second three. Yeah, that's a tough part of play, playing a zone against Oklahoma is with good ball movement like Oklahoma has, you give up those shots. Taylor Robertson, the redshirt senior from McPherson, Texas, four-time All-Big 12 player. Eighth sooner to do such. Pull-up jumper, kissed off the glass. Yeah, McCullough was good yesterday off the bench. She's good today starting off. She's such a great mid-range player. Looks like that bank three we saw her make. The shot clock <laughs> winding down. And fighting for the rebound. McCallow comes up with it. Ravens over the defender. Scott, no answer there. Yeah, Scott at 6'2". A little bit smaller than yesterday's opponent at 6'6". Ravens has some room to shoot. Turnover is Van loses it. I will back the other way. Wide open look from three. Another make. TCU continuing to ride the momentum, the fire in the center of the court. OU 4-0 under 
Baranchek, the margin of victory, 27.8. It's the 39th meeting all time. It's OU's most lopsided conference series. That's good coming out of the break. Oh, and that's why Tyler uh, Van is a sixth player of the year. So dangerous from the free throw line down low. She has some physicality to her. And she can shoot the three as well. Get McCollar down low, wanting the ball. Got a mismatch. Mouse in the house. Yep, Nevaeh at top. You mentioned it, five foot three. That is the call. Great job by her teammate to find her, find that mismatch and exploit it. Quickly down low, tapped by McCollo. Stays on this side, though. Robertson for three. Yeah. Man, they're doing it. Automatic right there for Taylor Robertson. Again, zone defense. She has a little bit extra. And over on the other end. TCU's hot start. They weren't turning the ball over. Absolutely. And it's a team that averages about 17 turnovers a game in conference play. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Rebound to Goldtongue. Beatrice, six foot three, freshman from Overland Park, Cantor, Kansas. Big 12 all freshman teamer. Number zero in white, checking in, giving them. This is what Skylar Van does every game, game in, game out. She's been the sixth player of the year. Come off the bench every single, uh, every single game this year. Robertson will sit down with those three made threes, but the good news is Maddie Williams comes back in for Oklahoma. Sooners have won the league postseason championship four times, 02, 04, 06, and 07. Two seed is the highest for the Sooners since 2015. TCU's doing a nice job of rebounding the basketball. They're pretty undersized, very comfortable with this small lineup, though, and this spread offense that Oklahoma runs. They can match up pretty well. Top doing a nice job rebounding yeah. the ball. Yeah. That's her third rebound on the day. Jones for three is good. Yeah, Jones in the last five games has really started shooting the ball better. Get to see Iowa State later tonight. That'll be a really good one. Three versus six is Ravens off the dribble. Look at that. Yeah, Mountain 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 Mountain. Yeah, that's all right. She, she's so good. He can knock down the three. That opens up the drive for her. TCU, this is what they did effectively last night. They puzzled Kansas with that zone. It's just a little harder when you have really excellent three-point shooters like Oklahoma does. To the inside, eBay off the glass, the foul on Van. TCU that outscored uh, Kansas 18 to two, which was a big part of the game and the win. This is the free throw that pokes that ball away to get TCU another possession. Hustle plays. This is what TCU did yesterday. Finds the open shooter and buried by Breon White. That lead back up to seven prior to that jumper being canned by Maddie Williams. That has to feel good for Maddie Williams. Again, she was injured in that game against Oklahoma State last day of the regular season. eBay. Called for the travel. Well, Liz Scott does a nice job, I think, even though she's a bit undersized. It's 6-2. Dealt with a lot of injuries last season, and her playing time was limited. Is much healthier this year and been really, really dependable on the interior. It's like she knew. She knew. She knew. Her team went on to win the Bedlam matchup. Honorable mention last year. Projected WNBA first rounder has a very bright future. And your team on here. They've cut their deficit to just three under 30 seconds in this opening quarter. Shot clock under 10. TCU scrambling. Corner three. Just off to Jones. We'll have to heave it from half court. So TCU riding their momentum from their upset last night. Charlie says they might have played themselves into that play in uh, that first four game. I think that West Virginia still deserves a shot at the tournament considering they were fourth uh, in the Big 12 Conference this year, tied for fourth with uh, two other teams, but fourth nonetheless. Just enjoying themselves, having a good time out there, playing very loose and free with a lot of heart. Again, another tough rebound that they get, and that's Lucy Ebay right in the mix of things. Penamale Unia bringing it back the other way as these two teams combined right now. 19 three-point attempts. They have nine mates. Oklahoma, five of them. TCU, 
four. He may off the dribble on Williams. He may looks just like the player we saw last night in the utility night. Jones. Yep. That's what the Jones girls do right there. They can shoot the three. And Malunia from deep oh. off and over the back. It was eBay that takes the hard contact coming over the top was Liz Scott. Yeah. Lucy eBay has shown absolutely no regard <laughs> for her personal health and safety the way that she's willing to get in there. Contributions, everybody good to go. eBay right back into the mix and right back to the floor. She will shoot two free throws. To me, uh, eBay, Lucy eBay is just such a, trump, a crafty player in the post. <laughs> 65% free throw shooter. Struggled last night at the line as well. The team that was last in the league, 64%, 331st in the NCAA as eBay makes the second her team leading by five, 545. Left. Culleton gets a space. She's bullied her way through there, right? Culleton has, again, a little bit more size against the TCU players, able to use that physicality and get an easy bucket. Cravens to eBay, working that high-low. They flip the post, and it works. Yeah, move and counter move. Great ball pressure. TCU continues to hustle, fight. <laughs> Late whistle, Oahu. Town of 6,000 people, 30, 30 some miles north of Honolulu. You want to go? Yeah. After this? Absolutely. Rock and roll. You know, it's interesting that she chose to go to eastern Washington. I'm, you know, as you know, I'm from the Palouse, so between Mos Moscow and Pullman, uh, Washington out there, and she was in eastern Washington a couple of years, decided to transfer. To Cravens, Fisher, eBay. Manamalaunya and Taiwo, the five on the floor for TCU. Culleton, Tuck, Tucker, Jones, and Robertson, the five for Oklahoma. Is falling down in the corner to Jones. That one sent back by Cravens, back up again. Physicality here against a, a very physical player herself in Culleton, but I thought there was a lot of contact there. A lot of ball, too. Second uh, con contested shot. Whistled a foul on her. You see Jones. I'm not sure what happened over in the corner. <laughs> I, I tripped over lines before, too. Yeah, it, it looked non contact. Yep. They're yeah. massaging her. Cramped her, up. Yep. And I don't mean to make light of somebody that's injured. Right? No, it's it awkward when you fall and well, and with that by is, yourself. Is, you know, you're, you're thinking the worst when there's non contact. White right? feeding the post. Check out the Fisher. Shot clock at four. Going against Tot has a size advantage, cannot make. That rebound bounces up and hits Robertson in the face. She collected herself coming up the court. Good ball movement, Tot. I think that fouls could yeah, on TCU. Oklahoma came into this tournament. Tops in the Big 12, 9.5 plus their margin. Negative six for TCU last in the Big 12. So I have to think right now for TCU, that's a win. Absolutely. Sooners still looking for their first lead, and they will get it. Off the bucket from Beatrice Culleton. TCU brings in Patricia Morris at 6-7, and great drop by Culleton to hit over the top of her. She draws the foul there. She's a really, really good low block player. Again, I saw her in preseason. Uh, she's skilled around the basket. Six foot seven senior, the tallest player in the Big 12. Tie ball game. Sooners still looking for their first lead. Second lead, excuse me. They did get it last time down, went up by one. All right, I love how Fullerton is posting up right now. I think if you told TCU this is what the opening half would look like to the co-champs that scored 101 on you earlier this year, they would take it. Cullerton to the ground does come up with it eventually. Jones back the other way. Trailing Cullerton, Jones, corner. Bingo. Automatic. Absolutely. It wasn't automatic earlier in the season. She has having a game, though, today. Really, really confident shooting the last few weeks. 
Four for four from the field, 13 points, three made threes, two made free throws, go along with three rebounds as well for Aubrey Jones. About two and a half between shot and game is Taiwo. The team nearly five minutes without a made field goal. One of their last 11. That will be the buzzer. Oklahoma at one point was down double digits. It was 18 to 8. Four threes for TCU, and then OU decided they were going to up the tempo uh, defensively and up the pressure, and I think TCU really suffered that pressure. Didn't shoot the ball well. Three on Scott now. Robertson will be charged for that one. For Craven, had four points, two assists, two rebounds, three blocks. But it seemed like pace. They were dictating pace early on when they had the success. Well, they were able to keep pace, I think, with Oklahoma, who came out trying to push the ball up and down the floor, and TCU was able to shoot the ball with them. In the second half, things slowed down a little bit for everybody, a little bit more of a quarter-court game. Tot for three. That one good. Nevea Tot, junior from Columbus, Ohio. And here's TCU. You mentioned pushing pace, trying to get down the floor before the defense can get set up. Oklahoma, 99th percentile in pace. They like to go, 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 but that's the danger. Can you run with Oklahoma? Can you outshoot an Oklahoma team that does both so exceptionally well? A lot of dribbling going on. Great job by Tot in the passing lane. Fisher got pinned down as Tot back the other way. Great find off the dribble penetration. Wide open was Van, the assist to Yanusa. Anna Yanusa as well. Missed over a thousand days between Big 12 games. All of 22, part of 21. She last played in the postseason game in 2019. So number 22 in white has to be happy to be back out there. Rebound off her miss. That's missed by Robertson, who's to the floor. Some numbers for TCU. Cravens has the mismatch. She realized Tot was on her, but turned it over. Williams, another great find. This is what Iowa State, it's the first year that they had beaten every other Big 12 team. Yep. For a long time, they struggled to beat Baylor. They, Baylor was just so dominant in the Big 12. Came away with a win a couple of years ago for the first time. This game confidence. Got a big bucket on the other end. Had a huge scoring drought and just haven't been able uh, to get easy looks. Give credit to Oklahoma, who's played from pretty good defense, but there's a turnover, another opportunity for the Horn Frogs. Now you guys had a great interview with Coach Peebley. Had her on set between games one and two earlier today. Shot clock under 10. Fisher from deep. That one good. Nothing but net. Yeah, Fisher been quiet scoring wise today. That's a huge shot. Good hands by eBay there. Oh. eBay, though, may get caught. Did turn, and it unfortunately for Van, it catches her up high. I'm not sure if eBay knew she was there. Take a look at it just to see if it needs to be upgraded, if there's a foul, an upgraded intentional foul. You talk about an intentional foul, it's not the intent, it's actually what happens. If it was intentional, it would have been, probably been disqualifying. So they will shoot free throws, get the ball out of bounds in front of us. And you put Taylor Robertson, who is a 46-43-92 player, that is field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage. Circle that moment as well because it had been a 6-0 run for TCU, and eBay had got that rebound, and it looked like, hey, they can be out on the break and really cut into this lead, but now with the two shots and the ball, and now the foul again on eBay. TCU's coming out with a lot of pressure. What you do is you go back door. It's a terrific look by Van getting Jones on the back door. Cut eBay will walk over and talk to her coach and take a seat for a little while. Uh, well, I just am going to miss. I, I, I enjoy watching these two coaches, as I do many coaches in the Big 12, but uh, certainly terrific coaches, terrific teachers of the game, very positive women. They have players and teams that are very cohesive, have a lot of energy and synergy. Yeah, Jenny Baranchak, gracious enough to sit down, spend about 15 minutes this morning just talking through her team. 
had a nice little fireside chat with her. We were down in the lobby. I'm just, I'm just glad you were up, you know? I can do it. I just don't like it. Who doesn't like to shoot? Me. I like, like to basketball pass. and you didn't like to oh, shoot? I love to pass. <laughs> hey, I was like a rebound and run. Let's get on the fast break. Let me dish out the ball kind of player at 6'2". Okay. We need to find some footage of that. Ah, there's footage. That ball tracked down by Jones. We had enough shooters. You, you give them the green light if they need to come out because they're shooting too much. You, the coach takes them out. Speaking of shooting, OU has not done that. Culleton on the two-shot foul. And TCU knows it's do or die. They have to play better defense. They have shortened the distance, really got up in the shorts of the offensive players for Oklahoma. Oklahoma, in spite of shooting 39%, said at one point, one percentage point deficit to TCU prior to that. They have lived at the free throw line, 13 of 16 makes. TCU shot 10, great lead, drawing the defense in. Van with the pass. Playing on energy, playing on emotion. So much emotion, I'm sure, for them last night. When they can't get the ball to go in right now, so Manny Maliuna with not a horrible shot there from three. and Jones from deep, finally misses, Cravens collects. So whistle, that's on Skyler Van. It's her third. You see the foul uh, a little bit earlier in their big four, let's call it. Their three starters and Van coming off the bench. But they also have just a lot of depth, and they've cultivated that with some of their freshmen. Some of it is just with the transfer in Jones. Thanks, Bradley, making the first, making the second, missing the first is that pass right to Fisher, and Fisher just threw Culleton out and then went right at her. Good sequence for Fisher and TCU. I see the Horn Fox picking up full court, trying to get a few more possessions here, cause a turnover. Create a little bit of momentum for themselves. Culleton top Tucker, Jones, Robertson, the five on the four. Robertson from three, automatic. Did she need to get that shot off? I mean, she had about six feet with the defense coming in late, but. Led the Big 12 in three-point percentage, three-point makes, 81. Mentioned first women, woman in NCAA history at any level, 500 career makes, 500. Robertson gets open or backdoor cuts like this happen. I think that's where Oklahoma can really pick you apart. And again, it's just that TCU's in a scramble situation. They're not covering her one-on-one. -on -one. They're trying to create opportunities, and she's getting those looks. Cravens will draw the foul on Culleton, shoot two. Six foot three senior Bella Cravens rattles in the first. That's hurt them a little bit. That's an interesting lineup right now for Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma has really benefited from continuity. The advantage coach, Moranchek, the staff, can they play without her and find a way to get through this game, give her a little more opportunity, especially with consecutive games, consecutive days. That cut tie, well, she's been quiet today. Yeah, Manamaluna with a terrific pass. Not enough pressure on the passer right there. I will back the other way. Into the post. I will with the Hezzy. Horn Frogs moving the ball around to get the open three, and Bradley makes. Yeah, Bradley had to sit quite a bit of foul trouble in that first quarter. Williams is back into the game and on command. That's pretty good out there with her mobility, just limiting her minutes again because of that injury. Double comes on Cravens, who has it knocked away. 30 seconds on the clock. Williams right at Cravens off the glass. Back-to-back -back baskets. This is what you save Williams for. Moments like this where you need some big baskets, you need leadership. It was cut to two and now up to six after consecutive baskets from the first teamer in the Big 12. Shot clock off, under 10 seconds. Fisher looking to run the offense. eBay scrambling, McCallow can't shoot it in time. 
10 seed has never upset a two here at the Big 12 championship. The winner of this one will face off against the winner of the one this evening. Three versus six, Iowa State Baylor. That is the game that we had circle. That has one of a feel of a final. That'll be tonight. The winner of that plays the winner of this. Tyler Denning, Andrea Lloyd. Game number three of the day. Kick things off Oklahoma State with a buzzer beater game winner. Then Texas overcame a slow start. Cranked up their defense in the third as Cravens loses the ball. This is the third game of the day. Third semifinalist. Todd Tucker, Yanusa, William Scott, the five on the floor for Oklahoma. Steve comes off. Kennedy Tucker, who began a career at North Carolina, inbounds to Williams. Shot clock at nine. Good post move, just back and down does Liz Scott. TCU needs a basket. She get the shot clock down now at five. Menemaleunia off the glass with the left. Really, really good three-point shooter. She's good off of the drive, but she's been playing against bigger players today. She goes over Williams on that play. Look at Fisher in quarter three. She had seven points. Senior from Queensland, Australia. Again, you'd like to see better passing, a little more ball movement, but I think OU's just playing pretty good defense. Back in the game also is eBay for TCU. I think a big possession for TCU. If they can get a bucket, it would really give them some momentum. They do not turn it over. And a live ball turnover even numbers the other way. Robertson with the lead. She goes with the Binox. 13 points, four rebounds, three assists for Skyler Van. Only player in the Big 12 to go sixth player of the year two times in a row. McCallo, soft touch. eBay. Taking lots of contact down there, fighting on the floor. Two bodies, Oklahoma coming up. The ball out, Yanusa. Robertson will inbound. Wide open off the inbound pass, Van. My eyes went to where I think yours did. Oh, absolutely. Well, just 21 assists, 22 made field goals. Yeah, it's just incredible how well Oklahoma shares the basketball. It's a team game out there. They love to pass to each other. They don't care who scores the ball. Look at that emotion from eBay on the interior. They are not done yet. So eBay, the 65% free throw shooter. It's 2 of 4 this evening. Six-point contest. Ten seed versus the two seed. Oklahoma co-champs in the regular season. TCU winners of just one conference game. The upset already of Kansas. Do we have another one in the making? On the break. They've already done a terrific job defensively, keeping them under the 82 that they normally score a game. Colleton with the big rebound, Robertson. Wow! Taylor Robertson, the best three-point shooter we have seen at the NCAA level, but right back on the other end. A dangerous team we saw last night upsetting Kansas. Kansas team that's projected in. What do we have for a finish here? Up and under the kiss off the glass, Yanusa. And that's our first two points of the game. Somebody that's used to scoring a lot of baskets, getting a lot of looks. That's a big one there for Yanusa. eBay responds. There was no stopping eBay on that. That's a great jump stop power move. God, I love her spirit. She is tremendous out there. So the question now, TC, when they've gotten stops, can they capitalize on the other end? You can't trade bucket for bucket at this point. That jumper, good Skyler Van. Yeah, I'd like to see somebody make Van put the ball on the floor right there instead of getting that 15-foot free throw. Fisher drawing the defense in. eBay, there's a spear you talk about. She just has a will to win. She has her team hungry for a win tonight, hungry for an upset. You saw the reaction from Tommy Taiwo. Right there meeting her, meeting that energy. Big made free throw. Ten on the shot. 
Better turned pass. over. Cravens. Good job of making Van put the ball on the floor, and then that help side coming over by Cravens again, making a key play for TCU. Ty will losing the handle. Oh, good job, Reggie Lee calling a timeout. 10 seed, all time, as mentioned, 0 and 8 against a 2 seed. All right, what are you doing here offensively for TCU? A uh, lot pass, it looks like. <laughs> to eBay. Wow. One point game. Williams into Van. Van physical with Cravens. Cravens kept her ground, did not draw a foul. Stocking on the way up with the officiating. Five on the shot clock, having to go. Tywo pushes off. Offensive foul. So how that affects how you can play this down the stretch is Oklahoma is a very good free throw shooting team. TCU trapping, getting some more pressure on Oklahoma. This is the hard part. If you foul uh, any number of Oklahoma's players, they are so good at the free throw line. Taking as much clock as possible. Trying to find Williams. It was wide open. Sent back eBay with the block. TCU back the other way. eBay off the glass. On the differential between the shot clock and game clock right here. So interesting to see what TCU does defensively. It's about six seconds. At this point, they do not want to foul. I think they want to... Make Oklahoma take a shot, a tough shot, and have an opportunity to get another possession. Robertson with Fisher on her. Shot clock at seven. Van finds Williams. Williams loses it. TCU ball. 11 seconds. On the game clock, TCU will talk about it. TCU does not have a timeout. Got to get the ball in. They do to eBay. eBay will go on the dribble. Up. And it's good. And then Maddie Williams. Says she has not a lot of points, but she had some key points when the game was within two before. Robertson will inbound. And that looks like they're looking for a direct pass. There it is to Van. And that's good. They're going to add time to the clock. The, the officials are going to stop the clock at a second or about a second of time to the clock. TCU doesn't have any timeouts right now, so they're going to take advantage of this review. First player in league history to repeat as the sixth player of the year, playing like a big time star here. Yeah, it's Van. Hey, 45 points off the bench. Why not go to your bench player and the best one in the Big 12? So Robertson will come back in the game. Manamaleunia to inbound for TCU. Does so to Fisher. Fisher with the heave. Oklahoma staves off elimination. Wow. What a game. What an effort from TCU, the 10 seed. Skyler Van.